Hello, and welcome to Let's Play StarCraft Remastered, released in August of 2017, nearly 20 years after the original StarCraft, which was released in March of 1998. Developed and published by Blizzard Entertainment, StarCraft is a real-time strategy game set in the year 2499 in a part of the Milky Way galaxy known as the Caprulu Sector. It pits three spacefaring races, the Terrans, new kids on the block, the Protoss, strong and mysterious psionic warriors, and the Zerg, ravenous hive-mind bug creatures, against each other and sometimes themselves in all-out warfare as their leaders seek to fulfill their various agendas. More than a simple RTS, it's also a fantastic space opera. Alliances are forged and broken, worlds are destroyed, and ancient truths are uncovered. Blizzard Entertainment was founded in February of 1991 under the name Silicon and Synapse Incorporated. In 1993, it was renamed to Chaos Studios, and then in 1994 it was acquired by distributor Davidson and & Associates and renamed to Blizzard Entertainment. It got passed around as a subsidiary of it until 2008, when it merged with Activision, who really wanted a cut of the World of Warcraft subscription revenue. And now, in mid-2023, Microsoft is making a bid to buy Activision Blizzard for $68.7 billion, but is having a difficult time convincing regulators, competitors, partners, and gamers to let them go through with it. Imagine that! And it is a pretty big deal considering the price tag is nine times higher than the $7.5 billion Microsoft spent in March of 2021 on its most recent big-name acquisition, ZeniMax Media, owners of Bethesda Softworks, the makers of The Elder Scrolls, Fallout, and the upcoming Starfield. Unfortunately for Blizzard, that's not the only thing they've been in the news for lately. Female employees of the company have reported for years that they're subjected to frat boy workplace culture, harassment, and unfair discriminatory practices that make the place sound positively toxic. There have been multiple lawsuits already, with probably more to come. I really hope the company makes things right in the days ahead, but so far I haven't seen any indications of how all that's going. With a look and story designed primarily by Chris Metzen and James Finney, StarCraft was originally based on Blizzard's engine for Warcraft II, Tides of Darkness. Audiences at E3 1996 saw this as Warcraft in space and weren't impressed. So in response, lead programmer Bob Fitch reprogrammed the whole thing with a focus on the interplay between the three races and how each could leverage their strategic advantages. The result was a very well-received game, and an expansion, Brood War, was released in December of 1998. Brood War introduced new units, continued the campaign, and resolved a few outstanding balance issues. StarCraft's popularity skyrocketed. It became an eSport, which meant people were competing in leagues and playing in televised matches for a global audience. StarCraft II eventually came around and was released in three parts, all three of which were also massively popular. I pre-ordered the collector's edition of Part 1, Wings of Liberty, but I really didn't care for it and ended up selling it on eBay. We're going to be playing StarCraft Remastered, which retains the original gameplay but features new high-definition graphics and re-recorded audio. I chose this over the 1998 version, which I still own, because I think I'll enjoy seeing the game in 1440p and hearing the higher quality audio. I don't remember the last time I played StarCraft, but it was probably something like 20 years ago at this point. I did play through the tutorial mission to test my recording setup, but there wasn't much to it, and I'm still horribly rusty. Not that I was ever all that good at this game in the first place. You're going to see some truly terrible tactics, but hopefully you'll have as much fun as I'm going to. Let's get started. We are going to be playing the single player campaign. And we'll start with StarCraft Original. We don't want to jump to StarCraft Brood War, the expansion, of course, because spoilers and stuff. And we need to give this campaign character a name. I'm going to be very creative here. Yep. DJ works. Let's go. Now we are presented with some options. We could play the Terran campaign, which is episode one. We could play the Zerg campaign, which is episode two. 
or the Protoss campaign, which is episode three. But you'll see these little warnings here saying, hey, Terran campaign incomplete, which means spoilers and stuff. So we're not gonna do that. Let's play the Terran campaign. Terran campaign, Rebel Yell. In the decades since the end of the Guild Wars, the oppressive Terran Confederacy has stood unchallenged in its supremacy over colonized space. All of that changed four days ago when a large alien fleet emerged from warp space and laid waste to the unsuspecting Confederate colony of Chao Sara. The Confederacy, Fearing that the alien fleet's next target would be the colony of Marsara, has sent you to intervene. Acting as magistrate, you are to safeguard the colonists and keep their state of panic from escalating any further. Boot Camp, Office of the Colonial Magistrate, Marsara Colony. Welcome to Marsara, Magistrate. The equipment demonstration you requested is prepared and may be initiated at your convenience. Simply select Start to begin the demonstration. You may skip the demonstration by selecting Skip Tutorial. So this is our little AI assistant. That's Whenever not... you feel you are ready, you may select Start. Uh, they are a bit impatient, apparently. I guess that's uh, what ChatGPT is going to look like in the distant future. Hmm. Yes, we could skip this. We could just... Anytime is fine. Okay, thank you. Uh, we could just click Skip Tutorial. But I'm not going to. Our objectives will be to build three supply depots, build a refinery, and gather 100 Vespine gas. And it is saying... You're okay to go. Okay, thank you. We could also replay the dialogue from the assistant, but now nah, let's just go ahead and start. Magistrate, are you all right? <laughs> you know, actually, this is kind of funny. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I might have to try that in some of the other ones to see what happens. I didn't know it was going to do that. That's funny. All right, let's get going. <laughs> Okay, well, tips are offered, as we can see, but uh, you know what? That's okay, let's, let's not. We'll just skip that. And here we are. The T-280 SCV is the cornerstone of our hostile environment construction and resource gathering operations. Roger that. In order to build a thriving colony, numerous SCVs are necessary. You can build additional SCVs at a command center. All right, select the command center, click on the Build SCV button. There we go. It'll cost 50 minerals and take up one space. Uh, that's one person. It's, uh, I'm not sure what to, how to describe that yet. <laughs> Amazing stuff. Maximum excitement. SCP good to go, sir. In order to equip additional personnel, you must have enough supply depots to support them. You can use SCVs to build additional supply depots. Select an SCV, click on the build structure button, click on the build supply Copy. depot button. There we are. But yeah, that will allow additional personnel. Right now we are maxed out 18 out of 18 personnel. The command center gives you 10 spaces, which, uh, okay, supplies. It's just called supplies. There we go. Which makes sense, I guess, because we're making supply depots to increase that. Each supply depot provides an additional eight. That's why we have 18 currently. Once this is done, we'll have a maximum of 26. There we have it. 
And uh, after receiving Magistrate, a trans... Oh. Our stockpile of minerals has run out. As your resource total is displayed in the upper right corner of the screen. Select an SCV and use the gather command on the crystals to collect more minerals. Yes, sir. So I'm going to... Uh, I'll go ahead and do it like this this one time, but I'll click gather. And... Affirmative. Let's gather some of these minerals. And the SCV gets to work. It is these blue crystals that are the source of minerals. Use your SCVs to gather additional minerals. We had zero minerals left, so as you can see, each time the SCV does this little mining thing and pulls some back, he brings eight minerals with him. Let's get this one doing it as well. I'm not going to use gather this time. I'm just going to right click. Affirmative. And yes, I have been missing a few of the little tips and things that pop up over here. They're going pretty quickly and well, if you're that interested, you can read them yourself. Yeah, now we've got these folks gathering stuff for us. We could make an additional SCV. Once that SCV brings back his haul, because we need 50 minerals and we have 48. See? Not enough minerals. Not enough minerals. Oh, yeah. What about now? Uh, yes, now. Now is okay. <laughs> and, you know, there's this whole map here. We're just. Not, not looking at a lot of fog of war. We've got all these marines. SCV good to go, sir. Interesting. Orders, Captain. Okay, Orders you, received. you should mine as well. I want minerals. You know, let's uh, get all these marines together. I'm going to move them here. Rock and roll. And there they go. I won't be doing it that way again. I will just Give me some to shoot. right click Let's move. if I want them to move. Commander. Outstanding. And uh, we might as well make another SCV. Oh, and if you want to see what the original StarCraft looked like, this is interesting. They made it so you can just press F5. And there it is, for the nostalgia factor, as if playing a 20-year-old game, wait, more than that, 25-year-old game weren't already nostalgic enough. Yes, sir. Right away, sir. Look at that. That really brings me back. I mean, that, that is StarCraft. <laughs> but, uh, you know, this is nice, too. And you can zoom in. See more detail. Not really going to be doing that all that much, I suspect. Anyway. Jacked up and good to go. Let's take, uh, well, you can only select 12 at a time. And I'm going to attack move. So I can click attack. Let's move. And click here, and they will be walking. Permission to speak freely, sir. Oh, here we go. I'm not sure you know what you're doing. Send us into hostile territory, and you want us to defend ourselves, then use the attack command. But if you want us to ignore enemy fire and go exactly to the spot you targeted, then use the move command. Now, which will it be? That's exactly what I was going to go over. Uh, ah, yes, so uh, right clicking on the ground issues a move command, but right clicking on an enemy issues an attack command. But you can also attack move. So if I were just to do this, like you said, if they ran into an enemy, they would ignore the enemy and just go where I told them to go. But if I attack move, so if I attack a spot, because there's nothing here, right? Right. Attack move. They're going to go there aggressively, and they will fight back while moving. 
if they are attacked. Now, they got attacked after they finished moving by whatever that was. Go, go, go! But had they met it on their way, while in transit, Outstanding. they would have stopped what they were doing and taken care of it, and then continued along their merry way. Oh dear, more of them. And they don't seem to be working together. Let's go... go, go, go. That. I can also just press A, which I'm likely to do. So, A. Rock and roll. A little faster. Okay, well, we've got 400 minerals at this point. So, if we check our mission objectives, as you'll recall, we're supposed to build three supply depots, build a refinery, and gather 100 Vespine gas. We haven't done any of that. We haven't done any of it. So I'm going to take this fella. Okay, take him after him. He drops off his minerals. I'm going to build another supply depot. Right here. So... He's working on that. Let's keep exploring. We can see the fog of war being lifted, both on the main screen here, but also on the minimap. Let's move. Because we want to see what's around us, right? Outstanding. More of those critters. Go, go, go. That's four of them. And that guy decided he wasn't interested. I guess he's gonna go get some ice cream. Oh, you changed your mind? Okay. Well, maybe he's lactose intolerant. Let's move. Uh, let's see what's up here. Go, go, go. And I am using attack move. And we do have these four as well. Just kind of hanging back, defending the base. All right, so got our three supply depots. We're also meant to build a refinery. Right there. Can't build it anywhere else if I try it here. I can't build there. Yeah, I need to find a Vespine Geyser to build on. And that's what this is. A Vespine Geyser. It has 5,000 Vespine gas. Yeah, build there. We're going to take all that Vespine gas. Standing by. Now, another way we could have gotten plenty of gas is by taking that one lactose intolerant marine and putting him alone in a room with lots of ice cream. Outstanding. <laughs> well, you say that now, but uh, you'll change your tune if you've got to be anywhere within 50 miles of the guy. Ooh, boy. No. One thing I never really understood is these... I mean, look, we're on some kind of orbital platform. I guess it's generating gravity, or they've got magnetic boots. I don't know. I mean, it's it's cool. The refinery processes raw Vespine gas, converting it into a form which your SCVs can gather. Multiple SCVs can gather Vespine from the same refinery, but only one SCV can be inside the refinery at a time. So he's going to keep gathering that stuff. One barrel at a time. And once we reach 100 Vespine gas, we'll be done with the tutorial. But I'm going to let him go ahead and get minerals because I would like to finish exploring this go, go, go. strange, strange space platform. Rock and roll. I want to see the whole map. We are not in any giant hurry. Uh-oh. Now, some of our units have taken damage. We can see that represented by the yellow and red in their wireframe icons. Go, go, go! And of course, you can see it represented more linearly by the health bars on the units themselves. Standing by. This guy's just had a little bit of a graze, I'd say. Let's move. I don't believe it makes a difference where the damage is being represented. It's it's just damage. Outstanding. And it doesn't impact their performance. But uh, if they take too much damage, 
they be dead. Commander, move you to the back. Commander, let's move. Commander, outstanding. Yeah, to uh, increase his chances of survival. In fact, you know what? Standing by. You can go home. You can go home. I'll just take one of these guys go, instead. Go, go. So he's uh. Uh oh. Well, uh oh, there there goes that Marine. I don't think he's gonna make it. Unless his friend can save him. Oh, they they weren't all that interested. You got lucky. <laughs> oh. Wow. Not very aggressive, huh? Well done, team. We've almost got everything uncovered. Oh, Bob's guns. Outstanding. I guess uh, Let's move. the Texans have made it into space. We do need to look up here. Rocket. Let's actually go up this ramp. Go, go, go. I don't like that because it uh, forces us into a tiny little single file line almost. Oh, okay. Yeah? You going over there, pal? Okay. Okay. One of these guys was beat up. Yeah. This one. He he can go home too. Let's move. Replacement. Rock and roll. Very good. I can hold down shift to keep adding people to the uh, party, as it were. Or a up just do that. You can also double click Commander. to select as many of a certain unit type as possible. I mean, if I had like 200 Marines on the screen, it would still only select 12 of them. Give me to shoot. But there you go. Rock and roll. Um, Let's move. just uncover this last little bit. Okay. Rock and roll. We gotta look up here. Go, go, go. But that should do it. We've been everywhere. We can't get out there, obviously. So that's pretty good. Oh, can we not get up there? Let's move. Yeah, no ramp means no access. Outstanding. I guess these are solar panels. That's kind of what they look like. Rock and roll. Yeah, we're not getting up there. Okay, well, return to base. Successful recon mission. Ran into some interesting enemies. I'm gonna pull this guy away before he starts on those minerals. And put him in there. In fact, you two, you two, and you two. I think four SCVs per refinery is considered optimal, though it's been a while, so I could be wrong, and maybe you need more if the command center and refinery are farther apart. I suppose that's possible. This concludes the equipment demonstration. There will now be a fully catered reception at Marsara Base. Congratulations! You are victorious! Victory! we get an interesting summary of our performance. So various numbers, whoop de doo And I guess we were fighting some unidentified creatures known as the Jormungand Brood. Okay. Let's look at the details. All right, well, we, I don't think we produced 20 units. We really just made some SCVs. Maybe they're giving us uh, credit for the ones that were already there. I think that's probably what happened. And yeah, we killed 16 enemies. Uh, there they are, in fact. They had 16 and they lost 16. We didn't lose any. That one lucky guy, I'll tell you. 
As for the structures, uh, yeah. We didn't actually construct all five of those. We constructed three of them ourselves. Uh, two supply depots and the refinery. They didn't have any structures. They are just kind of running around out there. Maybe they wanted ice cream, I don't know. And resources. We got uh, 136 units of gas. Quite a few minerals, 1,500. And we spent 450 on our units and buildings. All right, well, we'll start the campaign proper in the next video. So thanks for watching. I'll see you then.